Good afternoon, get ready for Addicted to Real Estate Radio. I'm Phil Falcone, or better known as the host with the most co-host. My co-hosts are Jeremy Ricci and Larry Steinhaus here on WWDB 860 AM every Thursday from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. If you want to ask us a question or you have a real estate need, give us a call at 267-988-2000. You're probably wondering, addicted to real estate, what are they all about? Well, we're full-time real estate investors who are hooked on this business. We love it. What else can you do in life where you build wealth and earn income while having fun playing Monopoly? Well, there's nothing else that I can think of. Anyway, that's why we're addicted to real estate. If you'd like to get involved with us, there's several ways you can. If you're a real estate investor... We love networking with real estate investors, and we have real estate and education meetings. Our next one's coming up on July 13th, and we're going to talk more about that today. It's going to be at the Maggie's Waterfront Cafe right by the Academy Road exit of I-95 at 7 o'clock on July 13th. We're also a real estate agency, so if you're an agent, a realtor, and you want to hang your license with a company that does investing, we were founded by investors. We're surrounded by investors, and we love bridging the gap between real estate agents and investors. You can check us out at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two, addictedtorealestate.com. So how are my two co-hosts doing today? So you know why we're the most co-hosts? Because we have the most information on real estate. All right, I know it was a stretch, but I had to go somewhere with that. I'm having an awesome week, though. i got to tell you. You know, the life of a real estate investor is fantastic. We all know, you know, you and I drive around in convertibles. But last week, I had to buy the ultimate motorcycle, the ultimate Harley-Davidson CVL motorcycle. And as a real estate investor, not only can I afford to buy that motorcycle, but I can afford to take trips. So right after I leave here, I'm going on another motorcycle ride. What is a CVL? The CVO is uh, the the uh, custom vehicle uh, custom vehicle uh, operations unit of Harley Davidson. So it's at least it's it's a lot more money than the regular motorcycle. Actually, it's a top of the line Harley Davidson motorcycle. I think my truck costs less money than my motorcycle. I just want to know if you're going to wrap it. Are you going to wrap it? But you, you know, it's funny if any, if anybody's seen it on on if anybody's seen on uh, on Facebook, the truck the, the colors of the motorcycle are exactly the same colors as the truck. And Phil and I have been talking about what I should put on there, if I should put I buy houses on the saddlebags or if I should just put a flag, which Phil suggested. Yeah. Um, I would do a fiberglass stick with a flag. So this it, is I buy houses? So it's moving all the time. It'll attract attention. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I, think, I think it's a good idea. Plus, you know, the paint on that is very expensive paint, so I really don't want to mess up the paint job on the motorcycle. Yeah, in fact, I wouldn't mind adding one on the Beamer, you know. I, I, on my beamer, yeah, no. it's true. On like, my you know, beamer. Your beamer. Oh, you mean the flag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flag too. Yeah. If you Come haven't on. seen Phil's car, Phil's car is awesome. The Z4 wrapped wrapped with the I buy houses, just so awesome. How about a trailer, a little trailer behind it that has a little, uh, you know, billboard on each side of the trailer? Or, or maybe a big trailer that I can put my motorcycle in. Oh, that's another story. Hey, you want to talk about something cool? <laughs> the other day, the other day, I'm behind this vehicle, looked like a lunch truck. And I was really far behind. I was like a block behind it. So I could only see the back and slightly see one side of the vehicle. And it had a digital high-def billboard on the back and on the driver's side of the vehicle. And this looked like a lunch truck to me. Super cool. As soon as I I saw it, I said, that's great. But now the problem is I'm going to have to get one. And I have a feeling it's not going to be cheap. No, I saw that too. I thought that was amazing. I saw a truck like that this weekend. Really? Maybe we're, maybe we're seeing the same truck. I, I doubt it. I was in Laconia on a motorcycle rally. Hmm. Well, that would be a heck of a long uh, route for that lunch truck. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so we got a biker dude as a broker now, huh? That's right. <laughs> you going to bring biker chicks, too? I don't know. Absolutely. I want all the biker chick real estate agents we could find. So, Jeremy, what are we going to be talking about today? All right, I got several questions for the day. First of all, you can email your questions to... The host who loves the boast the most, that's Phil at addicted to real estate.com. <laughs> Phil at addicted the number two real estate.com. So questions for the day. Is investing in real estate better than the stock market? I think we have an opinion on that. Sure. What's the formula for buying houses? Third question, how should I get started in real estate investing? So we'll cover those questions. And then the main topic for today is 
Whatever you want to do with your life, do it now. When is now? Now. Now. Now is the only time to do it. When is now a good time to get started, right? <laughs> so <laughs> we also have meetings planned. We'll talk about our meetings coming up. That's uh, July 13th at Maggie's Waterfront Cafe. We had a great time at Maggie's, so we're going to go back there and have another real estate meeting there. Beautiful place. So, um, so, so stick around for that. We'll talk about that meeting, and, and we could hope you attend that. It's yeah, a, if you got a, a boat, if you got a boat, you can just drive your boat to the meeting. You're going to have to they swim, do. They, do. they don't have a dock, so you're no. going to have to swim. We, maybe we get a rubber ducky, you know, put I Buy House's flag on the back of it. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll take my motorcycle. Yeah, there you go. All right, so stick around as we discuss these topics and much more. You're listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. We'll be right back. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. I can't stand this traffic. I need a vacation. Slip away to Siesta Key in Sarasota, Florida. You can stay at one of our vacation rentals at the number one rated beach in the United States. Check out GoSiesta.com where you can rent a fully furnished vacation rental for less than the cost of a stinking hotel room. Check out GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. That's 863-2-SIESTA or GoSiesta.com. GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. I'm going. When dealing with your home financing, you need a lender you can trust. A mortgage lender like Thomas Farris at First Choice Loan Services Incorporated. The purchase of your home will likely be the largest financial investment you will make in your lifetime. Work with a mortgage provider who considers your long-term financial goals and puts you first. Thomas Farris at First Choice Loan Services will provide you competitive mortgage rates and service beyond belief for every step of the loan process. Call Thomas Farris at 215-983-8649 today to visit about your mortgage needs. Thomas Farris, NMLS, number is 785398. First Choice Loan Services Incorporated, NMLS, number 210764, equal housing lender. Robinson Insurance Group is addicted to real estate's preferred insurance broker. Why deal with an insurance agent who only represents one company? Robinson Insurance Group can quote you all the companies and shop to get you the best insurance for your needs. Fix and flip, landlord coverage, last minute deals, no problem. Investor deals are no issue and nobody is ever denied. Call Robinson Insurance Group, 215-918-2555. That's 215-918-2555. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executex Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the Internet. You get two full-time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms. You get the mailboxes. You get the printer, the copy, the scanner. You get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month, but it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. Hi, I'm Larry Steiners, and I'm addicted to real estate. Have you been thinking about getting your real estate license? Well, have I got news for you. We are currently training new agents to be addicted to real estate. If you are tired of your day-to-day, paycheck-to-paycheck life, I will pay for your real estate school and your license. Become addicted to real estate on me. Hurry before we change our minds. Call me at 215-378-9190. That's 215-378-9190. Call now, 215-378-9190. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. I'm so excited because Jeremy is going to ask us some great questions today. Right, Jeremy? I'm going to read questions, yeah. You, uh, that's right. You've got to read the questions that were, were submitted. So what is our first question? We're actually doing this on Facebook Live now, too. So if anybody puts any questions over there, we could answer them as well. That would be pretty cool. So, so put a question, somebody. Put a question. 
All right, so questions today. You can email your questions again to fill at addicted to real estate.com, fill at addicted the number two real estate.com. Is investing in real estate better than stocks? Well, I, I love the silence in the room because these guys know that I'm an options day trader. Yeah. So, so, so it's a really good conversation for us to have because as someone who's successful in the stock market, which by the way, there are very few people who are. I'm, I'm someone who's successful in the stock market, and I will tell you that I make a lot of money in the stock market trading the options. But there's no doubt in my mind that investing in real estate is definitely the better way to make money. And, Phil, I know you want to explain why. Well, the, the first and most glaring reason why is leverage, my friends, leverage. Ask yourself this. If you had $100,000 to invest how much stock could you buy if you had $100,000? Anybody want to answer that? Okay, so if you have a margin account... Oh, stop with margin. Well, We're not talking about gambling here. Just <laughs> keep things simple. Okay, so the answer is 100000 if you're not talking margin. But even if you're talking margin, it's, only it's still only right? 50%. It's 100% it's more, so it's not that great anyway. It's only 50% leverage at max. Right. Exactly. I would not advise anyone who is a beginning investor to be buying stock on margin. Oh, absolutely right. agree. So you can buy $100,000 worth of stock with $100,000. That's about as best as you can do, okay? And if you have $100,000, how much real estate could you buy? Anybody? Well, I could buy... <laughs> Well, keep, you do keep, it, it, keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. If you do, if you do it with no even money down, as much as you find, right? Even right if but even if it's 20% down, even you can buy five buildings. Down. And that, was a, and, and that would only be 500000 500000 Five buildings. Down. You could buy $500,000 worth of real right. estate with 20% down. Right. Thank now, you. Now, if that was in Chester, PA, that could be 100 mm -hmm. buildings. Okay. <laughs> Detroit, it could be 1,000 buildings. Right. Yes. The, the, <laughs> the point is, is that you can control $500,000 worth of assets, and you can do that with just a hundred grand. Now, if you hang around with us, we're going to teach you how to do much, much better than that. Your return on your investment will be infinite. But that would be the number one reason I would say that real estate is much better than stocks. Yeah, and, and, and I'll tell you that one of the things that I like about real estate is the safe. I mean, no matter how you look at it, as long as you have tenants that are paying your rent and, pay, and paying their rent and paying the mortgage for you, and your property value, first of all, is going to go up. Typically, it's going to go up and almost double every 10 years, plus your rent's going to go up. So easily, it's safer and it's easier. And, you know, one of the things that we were discussing this morning, Phil, about this was the fact that it moves slowly, where the stock market moves so fast sometimes that you just can't get a hold of it. Okay. Let me add another, another aspect. Stock market is a zero-sum game. In other words, if you're winning in the stock market, that means somebody's losing. I'm serious. It's a zero sum game because somebody's selling. Right, somebody true. bought high and is selling low. Somebody else is selling low in order to buy high later, and um, people get people get burned in the stock market pretty easily. With real estate, you can actually buy a place, help out the person you're buying it from, help yourself out, help the bank get paid off. Let's say if it's in default or something like that, and you could you could have this win 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 situation, which in the stock market you can't have. Okay, let's. Everybody's not winning in the stock market. Somebody's losing. <laughs> well, here's another big problem with the stock market that that you don't have in real estate investing, and that is when you buy a stock. Let's just say you buy uh, stock in Colgate. Well, the minute that you buy it, the stock is worth exactly what you paid for it at the moment you bought it. You're not getting. You may be getting a discount in your mind. You may think you're getting a discount, and maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. But the point is, is that it's, it only has one price that you can buy it for at the moment that you buy it. Now, in real estate, is it possible to buy a five hundred thousand dollar building for three hundred fifty thousand dollars? Of course it is. Of course there is. We do it all the time, and there's a million reasons why something like that could happen. So in real estate, I can create wealth for myself by buying wisely, making money when I buy, which is something you cannot do with stocks. Uh, I would say that also you it's it's the organization of the market. The fact that you can sell something at instantly in the stock market makes it where the market is so organized. It's kinda like the car like vehicles too. You can you know, you know the blue book value of a car, you could buy it for that. Sure you could find a good deal here and there. But uh, with stock you can't find a good deal. You can't say, oh, I've got a hundred thousand dollars stock, I'm gonna buy it for seventy grand. Now, it's it's funny, this past weekend 
I saw on Facebook there was uh, somebody selling tickets to a concert that my, my son likes this band, and I was going to take my son to the first concert. So I bought the tickets. You know, she was asking 100 bucks. I bought them for 80 bucks. My wife says, you know, it's on Father's Day. Why don't you just put them up on StubHub and see what you can get? I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll put them up for some pie-in-the-sky number, 240 bucks. Somebody bought them. Wow. So there's, there's, you know, it was sold out. There's a supply and demand issue, and you don't have a supply and demand issue with the stock market, do you? Is there ever a supply and demand issue? No, there's never a supply and demand issue, no. No. So with this, with concert with, tickets. With, I, <laughs> I would, you should have called me. I would have went to go see Justin Bieber. <laughs> it was, uh, it, no, it was it was uh, 21 Pilots was the band. It was in Hershey, and uh, my wife didn't want me driving late at night from a, a concert in Hershey. Okay, stay on topic, will you? Let's get back to Jeez. stocks and real estate, all right? <laughs> all right, so let's talk about stocks. Let's just say you own yourself $100,000 worth of Colgate stock. Now, what can you do to make that stock go up? Well, you could run out and buy a truckload of toothpaste. That would be something you could do. <laughs> you could write a letter to the board of directors wishing them well. I'm sure that's going to help a lot. All right, now let's talk about real estate. You bought a half a million dollars worth of property with your $100,000 in real estate. What could you do to make that property Worth more money. Well, I can think of about a million things. How about build a carport? How about paint that place? How about fix it up with your own sweat equity, meaning that not necessarily a money investment. What are you doing? You checking out he's, macaroni? He's, 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 got he's, macaroni a, he's got macaroni on Facebook. Macaroni's sitting there. He's sleeping. He's on a porn he's website. He's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, you could fix up a property with sweat equity, meaning that it wouldn't even cost you that much. You go in there, you clean the place, you fix the place, do some landscaping. There's a million things you can do to make your real estate worth more and improve your net worth just by something called hard work. We got a message on Facebook right now. We got a message on Facebook right now from Tiago. He says, you can't add value to your stock. You're at the mercy of your performance of the company. That's, that's exactly, exactly what, what he was saying. What it was, was exactly saying. what he was saying. That so was here's, a, here's and, and, and if there's anybody listening, they're going, yeah, but stocks are more liquid than real estate. So here's the interesting part about that. That's a double-edged sword because if you're looking for long-term wealth building and all of a sudden you, know, you see a motorcycle at Holly Davidson and you want to go buy it, well, you can liquidate your stock in an hour and you can go buy the motorcycle where you might have to think twice before wasting your money. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm like really ranking on myself here. And but, you can do that no matter how outrageously priced that motorcycle <laughs> is. <laughs> These guys are still making fun of me for what I paid for this thing. But but the point is, if I if, it, if my money was in, only in real estate, I have to think about this. I might have to even wait a month before it sells. In fact, if it goes up for sale that day, it may take me a month of 45 days to sell it. And by then I might think about maybe I should just keep my money where it belongs safely in real estate. Well, I can tell you, real estate is liquid, but it takes a lot of experience to know how to obtain funds from real estate. And we're actually going to talk about that at our very next meeting at Maggie's Waterfront Cafe. Are you ready for this? Here's the topic of the meeting on July 13th at the Maggie's Waterfront Cafe in Northeast Philadelphia. The topic is how to make money from every real estate deal you find. Now, that's a meeting worth attending. Make sure you go to addictedtorealestate.com with the number two, put your name and email address in, so I can send you a personal invitation to come to our next meeting on July 13th. Just Google addictedtorealestate.com, and it'll pop up. So, Jeremy, we have the next question. What is the next question? Yeah, let's get on to it. It's, uh, what is the formula for buying houses? It's real simple. Buy, buy, buy. I use a very simple formula. <laughs> what I do, you don't have to be a mathematical genius to calculate if it's a good real estate deal. You don't have to have a science degree in order to figure out if a piece of real estate works or not. You start out with the income. You calculate how much money it makes. Then you take your expenses. You subtract your expenses. And in the end, you're going to be left with a number. And if to you, based on the scenario that you're trying to solve, the problem you're trying to solve, or the gain that you're trying to acquire, if that piece of real estate gives you what you need to solve your problems or fulfill your dreams, then I say, buy it. 
I, I think that's great advice. And it's funny because you get people all the time, they come up with these things like, I only buy houses that are 60% below retail. And, now, and that's just a crazy... Well, there is another factor. The factor is what's your goal. If your goal is to hold on to the property, the income is the most important thing. But your formula, there's the, what we call the Mayo formula, maximum allowable offer formula. And that formula is one that we um, you, know, you calculate based on the after-repaired value. We usually do 70%, 65%, somewhere around there. And then we subtract out repairs. That's Mayo. So it's 70, 65 to 70% after repaired value minus repairs. And the, the, the reason you would use that formula would be if you would turn around and reselling the property. Correct. If you're buying it as an investment property, it's all about the cash flow, like Phil was saying. But if you're buying it for uh, just the purpose of reselling it, you need to buy low, sell high. Uh, it's funny. Oftentimes we get... People saying like, "Oh, you guys, you know, you guys flip houses," and I'm like, "No, no, no, we we buy and keep houses. The trucks say I buy houses. They don't say I buy and then sell houses." Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and as a matter of fact, that's how I do it. I do the same thing. I just sit there and go, "Okay, what's it? What's it going to cost me?" I, I don't actually do a formula. What's it going to cost me? Which is what Phil said. What's it going to cost me? What's it going to cost me to repair it? And what's it going to be worth when I'm done? Is there any is there any money in between those two numbers? And then the, the the number could be anywhere. You know, if if it's a small prop. For a small house, it could be anywhere from ten thousand, if to a big house where it could be one hundred and fifty thousand. And as long as that number makes sense to me, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that house. Now I do a lot of buy and hold. Actually, that's pretty much all I do at this point is buy and hold. So I'm looking for houses that I can make money on a, make money on the rent. So my rent check will be higher than my monthly expenses. And as long as that number comes in somewhere, and I like a minimum of two hundred two hundred dollars a month, I'm okay with it. Now there are times when I'll make less. But most of the time, those are subject to deals, which we've talked about before. And I will take that, you know, I'll take the fact that I've got somebody's mortgage that's 10 years old now, and most of it's principal, and I'll, I'll be making principal, high principal payments. And to me, it's worth having a less cash flow than $200 a month. Very interesting. Or as our friend says, very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Mark Cumberland, we love you, Mark. So on to the next question, huh? <laughs> on to the next question. All right. How should I get started in real estate investing? So, uh, over the, you know, I got these YouTube videos all over YouTube with my name, my phone number, and my email address on it. And I do get people calling me from all over the country because I, I manage a bunch of vacation rentals. So it's not uncommon for me to see a phone number come in from California, and I answer it. So I answer it on Father's Day, this, on, uh, on Sunday, which was Father's Day. I answer the phone, and some guy says, oh, uh, I didn't expect you to answer. And I said, you called a phone number and you didn't expect somebody to answer? That's a weird thing to do. He goes, oh, I thought I was getting a big company, and I was going to get some kind of voicemail message. And I said, nope, you got me. I'm Phil Falcone. What could I do for you? And he actually said to me, how should I get started in real estate investing? So this, that's where this question came from. This guy, awesome. his name was Miguel. He called me from California. I'm not sure if he was a legal alien or not. I'm not positive, but he might have been. <laughs> he but, can still buy if he is, by the way. <laughs> he can. He, he can. Absolutely. So, Phil, we gotta, we're down in Florida, and uh, we get, Phil gets a call when we're down there, and this, this, he notices the, the kid has a, a Florida phone number, and it's a, what is it, three, uh, 407 area code. Yeah. So it is, it's, it's fine. It's it's a oh okay okay. Yes, it is. It's a four zero seven area code number. The guy calls up Phil, and this is this is really funny how it went down. Well, the kid the kid calls me up uh, while we're down in Florida, and he says, "Oh, uh, Mr. Falcone. Nobody calls me Mr. Falcone, but he called me Mr. Falcone. He goes, I'd like to just ask you a couple of questions. He goes, I'm a big fan. I've uh, I've purchased your book. He actually his mother also purchased a book." I said, geez, you know, you live with your 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 eighteen, you live with your mom. Couldn't you just share the book? Oh, it's because he, he got the download version yeah. and his mom wanted to read the hard copy. So yeah. so Phil gave him he wrote a nice review about Phil's book. He got the downloaded Kindle version. Then uh, he recommended it to his mom and his mom wanted to get the physical in your hands version. Right. So the kid starts asking me a couple of questions and I said, you know, before I answer your question, I see you're calling from a Florida phone number. Where are you? He said, I'm in Orlando. I said, Well, dude, I'm in Sarasota, I'm only two hours away from you. He goes, oh, that's interesting. I said, and then he goes back to the question. I go, no, you're not, you're not paying attention. I said, where, you're, if you're that close, why don't you just come down here? He said, when? I said, right now. 
He goes, I can't. I'm, I'm in school. I'm in between classes or something. I said, okay, well, come down tomorrow. So we got an appointment at 12. You could hang out with us after 1 o'clock. So I gave him my address. We don't know a damn thing about this kid. He drives down to Florida. And he ends up hanging out with us, right? So it just so happens that the day he's hanging out with us, we buy uh, two houses, two duplexes for $200,000 a piece with 100% with seller financing right in front of him. He sits in, in the meeting, which took like an hour and a half. Then we went out and ended up buying a $900,000 uh, – uh, I don't want to tell you what it is right now. But we bought this $900,000 piece of property with 16 units, and we did that deal. Then we met a guy who probably has a net worth of about $10 million, and we talked to him about buying his 24-unit property in Sarasota. And we sent him packing around, what time did he leave us? Like 9 o'clock at night. It was pretty neat, though. I yeah. mean, for, for how to get started in real estate, he really he really dove right in, and it was it was great that he did that. He was, how old was that kid? Eight, no, he's, he's 18. 18 years old. Yes, his name old. is Osmond. Osmond, you listening? And I know he listens to our stuff. So, Osmond, way to go, man. We're proud of you. Next time we come down there, we're going to give you a call to let you know. So, how do you get started in real estate? You call Phil, you find out where he is, and you go... <laughs> then you're going to track them down. Right. So, so, um, so go ahead, Jeremy. Why don't you take us to the commercial? Because, you know, I had a whole bunch of things to say, but I think we're out of time. we got to go to the commercial. Okay, that's fine. So stick around. We're going to discuss the main topic. Whatever you want to do with your life, do it now. So after the break, we'll be back to talk about that. Stick around. You're listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. Have you heard about the recent low mortgage rates? Have you started thinking about refinancing your home? Why not work with a mortgage lender who puts you first? Thomas Farris at First Choice Loan Services Incorporated will provide you personalized service to make sure your home financing meets your needs both now and in the future. Call Thomas Farris at 215-983-8649 today and learn how the current low interest rates may mean it's the right time for you to buy or refinance. Call Thomas Farris at 215-983-8649. Thomas Farris, NMLS, number is 785398. First Choice Loan Services Incorporated, NMLS, number 210764, equal housing lender. Hi, my name is Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is addictedtorealestate with the number two dot com. Robinson Insurance Group is Addicted to Real Estate's preferred insurance broker. Why deal with an insurance agent who only represents one company? Robinson Insurance Group can quote you all the companies and shop to get you the best insurance for your needs. Fix and flip, landlord coverage, last minute deals, no problem. Investor deals are no issue and nobody is ever denied. Call Robinson Insurance Group, 215-918-2555. That's 215-918-2555. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. Do you have a voicemail machine answering your business calls during the day? Oh, please tell me it's not true. I have an answering service for you that only costs $99 a month. We're real humans. That's right. We have live humans answering the phone in the name of your company and patching the calls to you for only $99 a month. And there are no contracts, so you can try it out anytime you like and cancel it whenever you like. Executech Suites. 215-942-7701. 
Hi, I'm Larry Steinhaus, and I'm addicted to real estate. Are you a real estate investor? Do you know the value of having a real estate license? It's awesome. You get to make even more money and get exposed to deals you probably would have missed. Well, today is your lucky day. I will pay for your real estate license. Find out more by calling me at 215-378-9190. That's right. I will pay for your license. Call now, 215-378-9190. Addicted to real estate, bridging the gap between investors and realtors. 215-378-9190. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. Our maiden segment, we're going to talk about whatever you want to do in life, you should start that right now. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I meet people all the time who say, "I, I I think I have a passion for real estate. I'd like to be a real estate investor. The only problem is I have a job, I have a house, I have a car, I have a wife, I have a kid, and all of these things are limiting me somehow, scaring me somehow to do what I really want to do. And I hear it so often. It's a really difficult issue to resolve when you have all this responsibility, when you have people who depend on you to bring home your paycheck every week, I can understand the dilemma that these people find themselves in. That's why I'm making sure that my son will never have such a dilemma. And the way I'm making sure of that is he graduated high school on Wednesday. So he's not even a graduate, well, a little over a week now. And he is going to, while living at my house, while working as a pizza delivery man, He is going to work as a real estate investor with our company, Addicted to Real Estate, with the hopes that over the next couple of years, he's going to obtain all the knowledge he's ever going to need the rest of his life to earn as much money and build as much wealth as he wants to have. It will all hinge on nothing more than the the appetite that he has for success personally, and only he can determine that. We can give him all the tools. We can give him all the knowledge he needs to make as much money as he's ever going to need to make. It's a question of how much he'll determine he needs to make. So he will never have that dilemma. Now, for those of you who do have that dilemma and aren't lucky enough to have a dad who's a real estate investor, I understand your dilemma and I sympathize with you. And I've, and I've come up with some advice for all of you. And that is just do it now. Just do it now. Act like a tennis shoe and just do it. No matter what the wife says, no matter what the kid needs, no matter what the mortgage company needs from you, no matter what the job you're working needs, do what you know you need to do and do it now. And why, why do I say that? There's never. Do you think that two years from now you're going to magically win the lottery and you're going to have $350,000 in cash that's going to carry your family for four years while you learn how to be a real estate investor? Let's face it, that's probably not going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. There's never going to be a time in your life when quitting your job and diving into the dangerous waters of a new career are ever going to be easy. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And they're not doing it, okay, because it's hard. But if you've got guts, if you've got passion, if you've got determination, and you know in your heart that this is what you should be doing for a living, then my advice is do it now. Wow, Phil, you couldn't have said it better, and that's exactly right. You know, we sit here, we live in a society that tells us that if we go to college and get absorbent student loans, we then get a job that we never pays enough money anyway, That and then we're going to live in this wonderful life and have a pension that we're going to live off of. Well, I hate to tell you, you're not getting that pension anymore. Yeah, maybe one or two of you that are listening <laughs> out of out of 20 or 25 are going to get a pension, but that's not going to happen anymore. You have to build your own path, your own pension. And I built my – in fact, I wake up every morning. You guys have bills. You guys, you guys have uh, – not, not you guys, but the guys listening – you have bills such as a mortgage, you have bills such as an electric bill, you have a phone bill, you have a car payment bill, you have a motorcycle bill. Well, I don't have those bills because all of my tenants pay those bills for me. So 
so you know we laughed about the motorcycle this morning, but that payment, I just rented a house, and the rent from that house pays that motorcycle payment. I have no bills. So imagine what your life I would, would think be. I think you need two houses to pay that motorcycle bill. <laughs> well, I did put a large cash down payment on it. <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> but the idea is I have no bills. So if you're sitting there and you're worried about paying your bills, imagine waking up every morning and not having any bills to pay because they're literally being paid by the tenants. I have people going to work every day to pay my mortgage and to pay my, to, and to pay my bills. It's a fantastic life. And then when you do a, a deal like, you know, Phil calls a chunky, mo- a chunky money deal, like a quick, a quick flip, and then all of a sudden you've got $30,000, $40,000 sitting in your pocket, and it's literally burning a hole in your pocket. Yeah, $30,000, go $30, that'll buy you like three quarters of a motorcycle. <laughs> hey, have you guys ever looked at the usdebtclock.com? Oh, yeah, that's oh, a great that's one. Crazy, well, crazy. most people who go on there, they just look at the U.S. debt, which, by the way, is almost 20 trillion dollars. Thank you, Obama. Thank you, George Bush. Those two guys alone calculate for about uh, 15 trillion yep, of it. Absolutely. And all the other presidents before them was 5 trillion. Anyway, there's some really interesting numbers on that site besides what the U.S. government owns, owes. One of them is student debt. Yep. Student debt is at 1.3 trillion dollars, which is insanity. Do you know that credit card debt in this country is actually less than a billion dollars? It's 900, it's not much less. It's 980 million, just under a billion. But student loan debt has now surpassed credit card debt in this country. So make sure if you're going to go to college that this is the right avenue for you. Because the way the school system is set up today, Everything is college, 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 college. And nobody is there to teach you about business except for your new buddies at Addicted to Real Estate. We're here to share with you the only business that we love, which is real estate. But being in business, being an entrepreneur is an amazing life, and it's an amazing thing and something that I wish for everybody. And whatever money you think you're making now, you will make double and triple the money in real estate business as you as you can with a regular job and not have to wake up and go to work. It's amazing. What is that quote? I, the, the, the quote, you had it at, your, at the last seminar. When you put it up, I, I realize what, I'm putting you on the spot, but the woman who took, the, the, the person who quoted it says you go to work every day to... Uh, I'll pull it up. Yeah, to, to, yeah, we'll try, try, yeah, try to find it. But you have to, you have to stop thinking that this is not going to work. It's absolutely going to work. I mean, I talk to people all the time. They say the same crazy thing. Well, you know, what if my, what if the tenant doesn't pay? What if what if the water heater was? I, my mother the other day. My mother. I was with my mother the other day, and she she says to me, "You've got you've got to have a really really tough business having to worry about all these tenants." And I said, and I said, "What could go wrong?" And she said, "Well, problems happen in houses all the time." And I looked at her and I said, "Mom, you've been living in houses your whole life." What's the worst thing that ever happened to you? And the fact that her house burned her house down. Burned down? <laughs> Didn't that but just happen? Not, yeah. But, that, but I, I said, I mean, but besides that, Mom, because most of people's houses don't burn down. <laughs> I said, what happened? And she said, oh, I think my water heater went once. I said, so what did that cost you? 800 bucks to replace the water heater? Who cares? So if you and if you're making making your 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 money through rent, you could certainly afford an eight hundred dollar water heater. <laughs> the funny part was the insurance the insurance not only paid for our house, but she actually made money on the insurance a little bit, you know, because 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 uh, like the the used clothes, you know, the people buy clothes, they wear them, they used. She gets actual replacement value, so she gets all new clothes. Oh, really? They don't they don't sell her used clothes. So what's that quote, Phil? Normal is getting dressed. In clothes that you buy for work and driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for in order to get to the job you need to pay for the clothes and the car and the house, you leave vacant all day so you can afford to live in it. It's crazy. It's just, and this is the way people live. It really is the way people live. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, I lived that way for many years. And and and, and I've got to have to thank once again. I have to thank Phil and Jeremy. They grabbed me and they said, "Quit your job already." And I said, "No, I make too much money to quit my job." And they said it again, "Quit your job already. Quit your job already. Quit your job already." 
when I finally left my job, the reality was that year I made more money than I made in my job in the last 10 years. Now, do I expect that to happen to you? No, that was an anomaly. That was certainly an outlier. Most people don't do it the first year, but you certainly can do it the second, third, fourth, or fifth year. I mean, we got guys like, you know, these these, these producers that work in our our, our our office, you know, we're, we'll do our show, Macaroni. Man, what's your story, man? When are you going to buy your first house and quit this crazy job? <laughs> I love this job. love running your show, so why would I want to quit, you know? Yeah, so we, they we need, need a producer, great, right? We need so a imagine right now. You know, so imagine you, you no longer had to worry about the income they gave you. It was a check that you put on your, you put on your desk when you come home and you go, I don't even need to cash this because I make so much money now. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome. That's why I come to you guys first when I'm ready. So ready to have my wings. He's, he's, he's always patronizing us. I love it. When is now a good when is time now? Exactly. to be ready? When Buy is now? Buy a house today. What are you waiting for? I don't know. What am I waiting for? That's it. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get you one tomorrow. Well, let's talk about how we can help people out there to become their greatest version of themselves. And if real estate is something that you think you'd love to do, and maybe you are that person because you're listening to this show right now. Maybe you want to be a real estate investor. Maybe you want to be a real estate agent. We recommend that all of the people in the Addicted to Real Estate family be both. Reason is, it makes perfect sense. If you're going to be buying houses on a regular basis, having a real estate license makes perfect sense. Even if you only bought one house a year, just one house a year, having a license would earn you a profit and probably a pretty handsome one, right? It doesn't cost very much to have a license, especially if you hang it at Addicted to Real Estate. And by having a license at Addicted to Real Estate, you will be invited to the real estate investing meetings that we have all the time. Now, I'm not talking about the one that we're going to have at Maggie's on July 13th. That one is open to the public, and anybody can come to it. But we have much more private, personal meetings at our office for agents who hang their license with us. We're all about the training, training, training. And if you are an agent at our office, you will be able to sit at a conference table with six people and talk to either one of us for long durations about some very critical information that you're not going to get anywhere else. And that is something of tremendous benefit for, for people who want to become real estate investors and want to become agents. And you'll be surprised to learn that the skill set that real estate investors need is very, very similar to the skill set that real estate agents need. That's absolutely true. So when we teach you how to do both, you're going to get it, and you're going to figure it out, and you're going to be able to have two sources of income to replace your J-O-B, which, by the way, stands for just over broke, because that's pretty much what you're probably going to be your whole life. Not, not true for everybody, but most people have jobs. You're never going to get rich working for somebody else. You're actually helping the owner of that company achieve his greatest version of himself. He's doing it now. You're not doing it now. He's doing it now. You're helping him achieve his dreams or her achieve her dreams, but you're not achieving your dreams. You've forgotten about somebody pretty important to you, and that's the person you look in and see in the mirror every day. You know, you talked about the stock market earlier, and you said, how can I make my stock go up? Well, you could go and buy a truckload of Colgate products, as, as you called it. Well, it's the same thing in your job. How can you make your income go up? Well, you can't make your income go up. You have to hope the company is doing well enough to be able to afford to give you a raise. But I can raise my income by two to $500 a month instantly by buying one house. So how many houses do you need to make, to make your income? Ten, five thousand 5000 a month? That's great income. And you can you can and you can go away and you don't have to do anything you want. You don't have to uh, worry about a boss telling you that oh you can't go away this week because it's a busy week for us. Or you have your vacation or vacation days. Forget about vacation days. Every day is a vacation day. How about just raising the rent? <laughs> yeah, you, you can just, raise, the right. just raise the <laughs> rent. Give yourself that's a raise right. that way, right? That's right. Give everybody rent, rent notices, and now all of a sudden you've uh, you've increased your income. You get ten. Per, you want a ten percent raise? Raise the rent ten percent. There you go. Absolutely. Maybe some right. people move out, so you might have a little bit of a negative, you know, negative cash flow on one or two properties that month. You rent them right back up and uh, get going. And here's the other thing: you don't have to have your taxes deducted from each rent check. Luckily, 
you have right. not only you have tax deductions and depreciation, depreciation on the taxes, for sure. you actually end up paying less taxes on the same income as you would as you would if you were a uh, if you were a you know if you were an employee. You know what's funny is uh, there's a quote that Ben Franklin said. You you know this quote: "A penny saved is a penny earned." Yes. Well, he said that before there was an income tax because now you have to earn 1.3 pennies That's in right. order to save a penny. Right? So a penny saved is worth more than a penny earned. Nowadays, the revision to that quote is, a penny saved is just a stinking penny. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about real estate agents out there who are probably got into the business because you wanted to be a real estate investor in the first place. And then you hung your license at some office where the name of the office is the name of the founder of the company. Boring. Our company is called Addicted to Real Estate. We're not only telling our clients how we feel about real estate, but we're telling them what business we're in. Right? We're not naming it Phil Falcone's office. We're calling it Addicted to Real Estate, a much better name. And we have name tags that say, hello, my name is Phil, and I'm addicted to real estate. If you find what we're talking about interesting, give me a call, 267-988-2000. I want you to call me. I want you to come in for a meeting where we can talk about signing an agreement and joining our company as an agent working for Addicted to Real Estate, where you will learn two things, not how to just be a realtor who goes around and helps other people achieve their dreams, you're going to learn how to become an investor for yourself. And that's going to make all the difference in the world. And that's what I call doing it now. So stick around as we discuss the topic of our next meeting, which is how to make money from every real estate deal you find. You don't want to miss this next segment. So stick around. You're listening to Addicted to Real Estate Radio, and we'll be right back. As a real estate agent, you know that most people buy a house once every seven years. Imagine working with clients that buy seven houses every year. At Addicted to Real Estate, they teach you how to work with investors because they are investors. Located in Montgomeryville, Hatboro, and Huntington Valley, work at an agency built for investors, buy investors, and finally learn how to invest yourself. Addicted to Real Estate Agency. Call them now, 215-321-SELL. 215-321-SELL. Hi, my name is Phil Falcone. I wrote a book called Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And if you'd love to see an investment book written by a Philadelphian about investing in Philadelphia, I'm your man. You can check out my book at addictedtorealestate.com with the number two. I have a free web TV show there. I have free investment forms for real estate investors. And I have my book that you can check out, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And the website is Addicted to Real Estate with the number two dot com. Robinson Insurance Group is Addicted to Real Estate's preferred insurance broker. Why deal with an insurance agent who only represents one company? Robinson Insurance Group can quote you all the companies and shop to get you the best insurance for your needs. Fix and flip, landlord coverage, last minute deals, no problem. Investor deals are no issue and nobody is ever denied. Call Robinson Insurance Group, 215-918-2555. That's 215-918-2555. Hi, I'm Larry Steiners, and I'm addicted to real estate. Have you been thinking about getting your real estate license? Well, have I got news for you. We are currently training new agents to be addicted to real estate. If you are tired of your day-to-day, paycheck-to-paycheck life, I will pay for your real estate school and your license. Become addicted to real estate on me. Hurry before we change our minds. Call me at 215-378-9190. That's 215-378-9190. Call now, 215-378-9190. I can't stand this traffic. I need a vacation. Slip away to Siesta Key in Sarasota, Florida. You can stay at one of our vacation rentals at the number one rated beach in the United States. Check out GoSiesta.com where you can rent a fully furnished vacation rental for less than the cost of a stinking hotel room. Check out GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. That's 863-2-SIESTA or GoSiesta.com. GoSiesta.com or call 863-2-SIESTA. I'm going. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. Well, I want to talk about something that we do once a month, and 
we put a lot of effort and passion into it, and that is our monthly meetings that are held for the public. Uh, this month, we're going to be at uh, Maggie's Waterfront Cafe, which is right by the Academy Road exit of I-95 in northeast Philadelphia. Very easy to find. And we're going to be holding this meeting on July 13th, which is a Wednesday night. We get started around 7 o'clock. It's a big room, so we've got enough space for uh, probably about uh, over 100 people. And you should come out. I mean, it costs 20 bucks for the meeting. There's a bar there. You can get a cocktail. You can get something to eat, whatever you want to do. Beautiful place located right on the Delaware River at Linden Avenue. For those of you who are from the Tarsdale section and know Northeast Philadelphia, Linden Avenue is the uh, largest public boat dock uh, in Northeast Philadelphia. So great place to go and hang out. Beautiful place. Uh, Huge windows in this meeting room where you can look out on the Delaware River and see the boats go by. And what we're going to be talking about this month is how to make money from every real estate deal that you find. Now, why is that important? Real estate investors often get in the business to do maybe just flips. Flipping, for example, is the only way that they understand or think that you can make money from real estate. I mean, a lot of real estate investors or people who are thinking about becoming new investors, they understand that you can do a buy and hold with a, with a piece of real estate and that will build wealth. And they understand that you can do a flip. But here's what I want to share with you at this meeting. There are about 15 ways that you can make money off of real estate deals. And if you don't know them, well, you're just, you're just missing out. It's, it's, it's like just not having a clue of, of, of what 95% of the other ways are to make money in real estate. This is an extremely important meeting to attend. Uh, we share this kind of information with people, and, and I'd even say that what we share is maybe a little bit on the advanced side, but real estate investing in general is not that complicated. You don't need to, to be a genius in order to do this. You just need to have desire and passion. Give me a guy who's got passion for what he's doing and is willing to go out and talk to people and if you can do that man that's all you need man you can have a you can have a Forrest Gump type mentality and you'll still be very successful in this business if you are willing to go out and talk to people and make it happen what's a Forrest Gump mentality uh, if you remember the movie Forrest Gump his IQ was just below the 65 level. No, no, I think it was like radio ready. I know, I know what you mean, though. But, yeah. but Forrest Gump was extremely successful. So, and actually, it, it, that, that right there should show you that you can do it. Did I just insult everybody listening? No, I think what the point is what Phil always says is that real estate is a simple business. It's it not that complicated. Business. Right, Phil? Right. It's a simple business. Don't be scared by, by big words and big phrases that you don't understand when you. When you go to a meeting and you hear somebody talking about adverse possession, don't worry about that garbage. How about that apartment building uh, guy with all these acronyms? There's like a table of contents of, of 25 different acronyms. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, the, like the, memorizing those acronyms is going to help you be successful. The, the only thing you need to know is rent is due on the first. That's it. It's real simple. I think he's talking about real estate agents, how they get that. Oh, oh those, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those acronyms at the end yeah. of their name. Every time they take a two-hour class, right, they get right, a new right. acronym, like, you know, PhD, you know, you know, whatever that means. Pretty heavy into uh, damaging, analyzing damage of property, PhD. <laughs> it's all a joke, okay? This business is not complicated. It's easy. Play Monopoly, and you already know pretty much the basic premise of what we do for That's a right. living. That's right. And you were talking before about the same thing, getting a license, and we you know, mentioned it again. Look, we have the classes we have this week alone would, would cost five or $6,000 for some of those people who are, who are selling those other ads. Uh, you know, the other, you know, like the, the, the people who come into town who pitch their tent for, for a week. I mean, f for this week, we have, we have two or three classes that would blow people's minds. And I'm sorry, I, I changed the topic, but this is the kind of stuff you're going to see when, we go, when you go to Maggie's on the 13th. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about lead generation. We're going to talk about getting properties. We're going to talk about making money on every possible deal. And if you think that, and if you think that you can't make money in real estate, you're making a major mistake, especially in the market that's about to come. Look, 
I follow trends. You know, I told you before, I'm an options day trader, and I see charts, and this is how I make money. And the chart that I see in real estate right now says you better buy all the real estate you can right now because in the next five years, it's easily <laughs> going to go up 80 to 100%. Easy. Well, I'll tell you what. I think it's a wonderful time to buy real estate. There's no question about it. A wonderful time to buy real estate. And if and if you need proof that I'm that I really believe that, Jeremy and I basically have made a deal in the car on the way to the studio today to pick up about a million three in real estate. And I mean, we're not messing around. We do this for real. I've been doing nothing but real estate investing since 1989. It's all I do. It's all I want to do. It's all I'm ever going to do. I'm addicted to real estate. Are you getting it, people? Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> macaroni, buy a house. Let's do it now. Come on, Macaroni. Tell us you're gonna do it, man. Are you gonna come to the are you gonna come to the to the event on the thirteenth so people can meet you? Yeah, why not? All right, Let's do it now. We, we won't even charge them the twenty bucks. Jeremy, you gotta we, be there so people can meet you. Jeremy, That's we haven't fine. heard much from you today. Why don't you give me that camera and, and, and say something? You know, you're too smart of a guy not to talk. Okay, okay. So this on this segment, you're talking about the Maggie's meeting that's coming up. And I do want to say that it's important in this business that you monetize every lead that comes your way. And we're going to talk about at the meeting how you can do that. If, if you're spending money on marketing, whether it's, you know, we have retail stores. We have the, the I buy houses trucks. We have uh, postcards and letters and things like that going out. If you're spending a lot of money on marketing, you need to monetize those leads and there's often times that we can't buy the properties, and we're going to show you what to do with those leads. If you're a real estate agent, certainly you can list them, but there's other things you can do with them too. So come out to our meeting. It's uh, July 13th. 13th July 13th. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. And it's at Maggie's Waterfront Cafe. We have the whole second floor reserved, and there's a nice bar up there. There's a nice view, like Phil said, of you can look out at the Delaware River and see the water. <laughs> the water. The water. For those of you River. who don't know, Jeremy is the resident genius of Addicted to Real Estate. So when he talks, you want to listen. Well, I also say water the correct way, too. So that you, He does. He does. Well, that's part of being a genius. <laughs> he has to pronounce words properly. So, guys, don't forget. All right. I'm Phil Falcone. I want you to come to our next meeting, July 13th, Maggie's Waterfront Cafe. Sign up for my list at addictedtorealestate.com with the number 2. Put your name and email address in so I can send you an invitation to sign up for this meeting. Don't miss it. It's going to be worth it. 7 o'clock, July 13th. Don't forget, I'm still paying for your real estate license. Give me a call, 215-378-9190. And be sure you listen to Addicted to Real Estate Radio live. Coming, coming to you live right now, but we also stream every every day on www.dbam.com. You can also listen to us at uh, Saturdays at 6 now. So we're on the radio Saturdays at 6 and Thursdays at 3, WWDB. It's 8.60 a.m. Thanks for listening, guys. Cause you know that's all.